Eight-year-old Paul Alves started the second grade earlier this year, but he's been kicked out of school. His father, Fernando, is from Mozambique and has worked here for more than 20 years. Paul was born in South Africa, but doesn't have a birth certificate. When I asked why he was chased out of the school, they said he does not have the right documents. They said that he's not the only child. Many others have also been sent home. Every year, thousands of people from Mozambique and Swaziland cross the nearby border looking for work. Families here send their children to local schools, which require a birth certificate, a study visa and a residency permit. Most of these families don't have these documents. They say these requirements have been ignored for years, but schools are now clamping down without trying to help migrant families meet the standards. The education department says it's simply following immigration rules. About 300 children in this area don't have birth certificates. At least half of them are out of school. The Department of Education says regulations need to be followed to make sure resources are properly distributed. The reasonable thing would be for the parents to come to the school, explain the situation, explain why they can't get the necessary documents or whatever the case may be, and then work with Home Affairs in order to get them. But these parents say they've been back and forth between the school and the Department of Home Affairs and that no one will help them. As the school term ends, they spend another morning outside the school gates, waiting to plead with the principal. The school's governing body says it tries to help them as much as it can. If in only in this community we have over 300 kids, what about other communities? So if now we are refusing kids which, are born, which were born here in South Africa, it becomes a problem. Human rights groups say more undocumented migrant children, asylum seekers and refugees, have been denied admission to schools this year than ever before even though the law prevents any sort of discrimination. For as long as a child is in the country, they should be allowed to access um, the right to education, they should be allowed to be in school, regardless of what their status is. None of Fernando's three children have birth certificates. So when the time comes for his youngest two to go to school, they may also be shut out. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Komati Port, South Africa.